Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Annie J and today I wanted to talk about PMDD and partial fasting. If you have seen my PMDD videos, you've heard me talk about a whole heap of other things from turmeric water to eating right to exercising well. This situation with partial fasting is new to even me. It is not something that I read about, it is actually something that I decided to try myself because I realised, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, whether it's to do with my digestive system and and the closeness of my digestive system with my reproductive system, I honestly do not know. However, what I do know is that for some reason, partial fasting has made some type of difference. Now, I'm not recommending this if you are somebody who is possibly dealing with like your weight and things like that, because I'm, I don't want anyone to fall into any sort of ill health. However, if you are in a position where you are able to try this in a controlled, healthy manner, then it's something that I might recommend. So what I've been doing, I have been fasting until 6 p.m. in the evening. The only thing that I might have before the 6 p.m. is possibly a cup of tea or water. So I fast until 6 p.m., then I break the fast, I eat a meal, and I don't eat after 8 p.m. So if there's anything that I want to have, I have it between that very narrow window, folks. I can't give a clear explanation for why this has made a difference. I don't know why I feel like food affects me. If you've seen one of my previous videos, I've spoken about the effects that carbohydrates has on me. Now, if you are somebody with PMDD, you might find that there's certain foods that you eat during PMDD week that really doesn't help you feel good. We do have food cravings during the PMDD weeks and me specifically, I tend to crave salt and sugar. And the thing for me is that bread Bread is just an easy go-to. You can have toast at any time. But I don't know why when I eat bread, I start to feel sluggish and I then feel low, bad about myself. And the other thing is, another reason why I've decided to partial fast is because the overeating, the food cravings, it really does get to me. So what happens is I have the food cravings, I indulge myself and then I want to have more. I overeat and then I feel bad. And then I also do not like how I look later because I feel like my body bloats. I believe that the retention of water in our bodies is increased when we are going through the PMDD weeks, okay? So the body will hold on to water weight during those weeks. And then if you add or if you throw a bad diet into that mix as well, so the food cravings, the overeating, it can make you really feel bad. It can make you feel down about yourself. And what I find is that I don't like how I look. I don't like how I feel. That is the worst part for me because obviously with PMDD, the emotional symptoms are so severe already. So if I'm eating something and that is making me also feel negative my overall feelings about myself are going to be negative so that is the reason why i decided i'm going to partial fast for the two weeks i'm sure if you look online you will find positive reviews about partial fasting you will find negative reviews about partial fasting basically you will find anything that you're looking for online that's one thing that i have learned about the world wide web that said it is down to you what you can manage this is what works for me if i do not eat from morning until 6 p.m in the evening what that helps me do is avoid the food cravings because with the cravings as soon as i start so whether that is first thing in the morning or in the afternoon once i have had that first meal snack what have you guys I have opened the door, the intensity of my cravings then increases. And then that causes me to keep on going. And I don't have a stop filter. So this is the reason why I feel that partial fasting has really made a difference for me. Because I am shying away from eating anything right up until 6 p.m. like I said. Might have a cup of tea, maybe fruit, that's it. And it just keeps that food craving at bay. So this is something that I have tried specifically this month. At the point of filming this, we are in the month of October and it has worked very, very well for me in terms of dealing with the food cravings and the aftermath thereof. The fasting stops me from overeating. I eat my one meal in the evening. Because I have gone through most of the day without eating, that level of intense hunger that I might have been feeling, say, in the afternoon has now died down. 
So I may not necessarily feel overly hungry. Obviously, there'll be points in the day where I'm like, okay, I could eat. So by the time it gets to 6 p.m., my appetite that has been there at certain points during the day has dwindled down. I have my well-balanced meal at 6 p.m. It's, you know, full of vegetables. It may have a little bit of carbs. I still shy away from bread. I'm more likely to have pasta or whole wheat pasta or rice, quinoa. I'll make it with some type of meat and what have you. And that is what I'll have in the evening. And I'll eat a decent portion to the point where I feel satisfied. After that, because it's taken so long for me to eat, once I've had that meal, my level of hunger has now severely decreased. And I get full faster. Even though I've given myself that window between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., I may not necessarily have anything again until the following day at the same time. This is why I said that this might seem pretty extreme. And it, it, it does sound it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. But this is really helping me personally with the food cravings and the intensity of the body dysmorphia that I go through during the PMDD weeks. The body dysmorphia has already got me feeling some type of way about my appearance and how I look. Toppled with overeating, holding water weight, adding additional fat because of my overeating, recipe for disaster. This is something new and for the first time in a long time because I would actually bloat every month and usually I would be depending on my regular workouts to balance off the overeating that I would be doing at the time and I feel like I don't need to rely on that as heavily because actually now for the first time in about possibly five years I've been able to get through my PMDD weeks without adding to the water retention that is being held by my body during this phase of my menstrual cycle. I wanted to share this guys because if you struggle with the food cravings, they're really intense, you can't help yourself, overeating and things like that, then maybe this could be something that you could try initially. And like I said before, if you feel that you are in a good enough position to do a partial fast, you're not going to put yourself at risk or anything like that, then maybe try it if you're confident enough. Like I said, this is something that has really helped me and for the first time I don't feel like I have gained and put on excess weight during my PMDD weeks because typically I would feel that weight gain after about two, three days of overeating and I would see it on the scales. This is the first time that I've not had that issue. So the partial fasting has really helped with that side of PMDD. So I really did want to just share that with you guys in case, again, like I said, somebody is going through something similar or you've had similar experiences in relation to your diet and food and what you eat and everything. Guys, one thing that I forgot to mention is whilst I am doing the partial fasting, I drink a lot of water. Like I said, I might have tea and maybe I'll have a bit of fruit and that's it. Again, I eat in the evening and I don't overeat. It has seriously reduced my intense food cravings for salt, sugar, takeouts, rubbish, basically. It has reduced all of that. The one thing that I will mention is that this particular month, these two weeks, I decided to try the partial fasting and drop my workouts just for the two weeks. I was finding it particularly difficult to carry out my workouts and I thought, do you know what? Let me give myself a break. As soon as my cycle arrives, I am going to be back to my workouts. But for now, I wanted to just see what difference it would make if I was to change the way that I eat my food during this time. And honestly, ladies, what a difference. So if you deal with these issues leading up to PMDD, maybe give it a try. You don't have to do it for as long as I do till 6 p.m. Maybe you could do it till 3 p.m. and see how you get on with that. Just do something that is manageable for you and that's not going to affect your health in a negative way because we don't want that. But I hope that has been helpful to somebody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time, it's your girl Miss Annie J. Bye!